I like Linux, you like Linux, probably everybody watching this video likes Linux. And if you don't, I don't know how you got here, but welcome to the channel. And if you do like Linux, you probably have it installed on at least one of your devices. And that's the key phrase, your device. And every so often I'll be scrolling through a Linux forum or a Linux subreddit looking for video topics and I'll come across a post that's something like, I installed Linux on X person's computer. I installed Linux on my mum's computer. I installed Linux on my grandma's computer. I installed Linux on my sister's computer, so on and so forth. And usually the post is just gushing about how much they love Linux now and how much they love the experience and how much the experience is exactly the same as Windows or so much better than Windows and they never want to go back. And then the comments are usually people being like, wow, Linux is so great. Linux is awesome. You're awesome for doing that. Now, it's one thing if someone is getting ready to chuck out a computer. Maybe they bought it back when Vista or Windows 7 came out. And they're like, you know what? You know computer stuff. Can you make this computer quicker? And you're like, I will install Linux on it and that'll probably do it. And like, okay, go ahead. They specifically asked you to do something to fix their computer. And then you went about fixing it. That's being helpful. But other times you'll see a fairly similar post, then followed by, I didn't tell them I was going to do this, I just took their computer and installed Linux on it. And I'm here to say, this is not being helpful, at best this is just a slight inconvenience, at worst this is basically being actively counterproductive, and I don't want people to encourage this kind of behaviour. Sure, maybe you'll get a good result from time to time, they do everything in their web browser and just don't really notice the difference, but that doesn't mean that you should just go around installing Linux on other people's computers. So what's the problem here then? Well, even though I don't like using Windows, as is pretty evident by the fact that I'm not using Windows, and maybe you don't like using Windows either, but many people out there do, or at least maybe they don't like Windows, but they're comfortable with it. This is what they've always been using, and they don't really see any reason to change to anything else. And sure, there are great pieces of software available on Linux, many of which I've talked about on this channel, and many of them are great alternatives to applications that they'd otherwise be using. For example, instead of using Google Chrome, try out Base Chromium instead. Instead of using the Microsoft Office Suite, try out the LibreOffice Suite, or OpenOffice, or WPS Office. Instead of using Photoshop, try out GIMP. Instead of using Outlook, try out Thunderbird, and there are countless other applications like this. But no matter how good the application is, unless it is the exact same application or it is 100% compatible with what the other application can do, it is going to disrupt their workflow and in many cases, it's not an actual replacement. What I mean is all of these applications are great applications if you want them to be an alternative. LibreOffice is great if you want to modify your workflow to fit inside of LibreOffice. GIMP is great if you want to modify your workflow to fit inside of LibreOffice. For someone who is trying to move to Linux, doing that is fairly achievable. But if you're not trying to do so and someone just forces you onto that system and says, hey, LibreOffice is a thing you can use instead of the Microsoft Office Suite, what they're going to realize is it's not a one-to-one -one replacement, and especially if they're doing some of the more advanced features like macros, they're not going to work in the same way. Even though I don't use it myself, there is a reason why a lot of people out there like systems like macOS and Chrome OS, even though they are fairly locked down systems, macOS being especially so. There is a lot of people out there who don't really care about computing as a hobby. All they care about is the user experience and is the user experience good? And in many cases, is the user experience comfortable? And when you've been using a system like that for five, 10 years, maybe you've got all of your other devices in the Apple ecosystem, you've found something that works and you're going to want to stick with it. And I think the problem would be worse for someone who is a little tech savvy, someone who maybe they're not like a program or anything like that, but they at least know what their system is using and they know what operating system they're on. They are tech savvy enough to set up things like PC gaming. So sort of that baseline minimum. And sure, Linux gaming is better than it once was, but there's still enough hiccups to disrupt the average user. But if you desperately cannot help yourself and you need to install operating systems on someone else's computer, at least make a data backup so this doesn't happen. 
I nuked Windows when trying to install Fedora on the home computer. How do I break the news to my mum? So I was trying to do what I did on my laptop, which was shrinking the drive and making a new volume for whatever distro so I could dual boot. And I did it first trying. I heard about the awful installation process for Fedora, but thought it was nonsense because I got lucky. So trying to do the same thing on the home computer was why not? And now I'm here busy reinstalling Windows with all of my family's data gone. Wiping out taxes, family photos, any work they were doing on that system, everything. Just for the sake of forcing people off of Windows. This has been a short public service announcement. Please, for the love of God, just stop installing Linux on other people's computers. If you want to proselytize about Linux and see how great Linux is, Linux can do this, Linux can do that, it's perfect, it's so much better than Windows, that's fine. No one's going to be hurt by that. Maybe you'll lose some friends because you're really annoying, but that's totally fine. But don't go and install Linux or any other operating system on someone's computer unless they specifically ask you to do so or they just have no other idea what to do with the system and they're like, fix this, do whatever you want. But maybe you disagree, I don't really know how, but maybe you do. In which case, let me know in the comment section down below. If you've ever installed Linux on some random person's computer, let me know how it went and I'm sure you're going to have some great story about how it was a perfect experience and nothing ever went wrong. I don't believe it, but maybe it's going to be a story. Anyway, if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, Sonic Barrow Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T available basically anywhere. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me, and I'm out.